Hello everybody, today we are going to be doing a little crypto trading and we're going to do some altcoin trading because people seem to like when I trade the weird stuff. What I actually trade for the most part in my real life as a professional trader um, is the bigger cap ones. I like Ethereum. In fact, I pretty much only trade Ethereum at this point. But just to really stretch me, I'm going to try and trade some weird altcoins. <coughs> so we're on crypto market cap. It's got like every coin ever on it. And I'm going to trade something I haven't heard of and I haven't even decided yet. Near protocol, we just made a video for that. Um, Tron, everyone's heard of. Uh, Kadena, sounds kind of familiar. I've heard of can't believe Yearn Finance is around. What about, uh, let's look at one that has pretty decent volume so we can get some, yeah. <coughs> Already made a Luna one. Cardano's doing okay. Polygon. You know what? <coughs> let's, uh, let's trade Helium. Yeah. Never heard of Helium. HNT. Um, all right, yeah, HNT, Helium, I guess, on Binance, okay, all right, we're going to trade Helium, let's do, just for a change, 45 minute chart, which is a time frame I made up, that's not the uh, standard thing, all right, so, Let's open the practice document. Um, and I'm going to make a heading for it. <coughs> mm. It's getting to me. All right, 45 minutes. Helium, HNT. All right, it's pretty random stuff. Let's make sure the adding things aren't uh, going to mess up. I'm going to get some realistic estimates. We're going to total up the wins and losses. We're going to figure out the ratio between them. Last time wasn't that good. 2.3. And that was even worse. These altcoins are rough, man. And uh, But I did pretty good on OXT. And Squid Game was horrible. And SHIB, I didn't have a single loss. So you never know what you're going to get with these things. Alright. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to scroll down here so I can't really see what's going on I'm not looking at the candles technically maybe I could infer something from these but really you gotta you pretty much have to be looking at the candles to really trade anyone that tells you anything else is ridiculous and stupid and uh, let's pick right here September 8th why not never seen this chart before I don't even really know what helium is. I don't think I've heard of it. All right, nine eight twenty one. We need to do that to um, calculate the daily total average amount. Thirteen. These are all kind of estimates. All right, let's do it. We're gonna move forward one candle at a time. until we get something that's worth taking. This is the ADX, Average Directional Index, and I kind of don't like it right now. Like, it feels like it wants to go there, but we're just not getting the love right now. It keeps bumping up against that level. We do have increasing volume this time, but the oscillator's not looking good enough. Yep, okay. See, I knew it was going to hit this at some point, but you just got to wait till you... You can't just take things on a whim. It's got to make sense. Like, you're going to miss trades and, and things. Could have easily just done the opposite. Um... Yeah. See, this is an example... 
we did have uptrending volume, but this wasn't looking good, and this was pretty flat. And so, now uh, this would be maybe worth considering if it wasn't for that. ADX is not really looking good. ADX needs to be going sort of uptrending. It's nice if it's green, and it's nice if it's above that line or pretty close to it. It attempts to judge whether you're in a trend or not. And at least one style of trading, it's pretty useful. Yeah, not quite good enough. We're going to be a little strict, a little bit picky about what we're taking because over trading is kind of the biggest problem. 2113, almost a cool number. Almost, it, over trading is a huge problem among traders and it's what everybody does and it screws you up. Alright, so be nice if this tail wasn't here. Let's see what the ADX actually looks like. It is over the line. It is green. It is uptrending. It's broken below some stuff. I think it's even broken below that wick. Though it's real close. Technically do have uptrending volume. I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. Let's say that is the stop loss. This could be kind of bad, honestly. <coughs> yeah. It's tempting to go for another candle, but the fact is it didn't do what I wanted. So we're going to get out. 0.9% loss. Ah, uh, see? Uh, that's a pretty solid candle. Alright. Same thing we just did. Let's go like there. Yes! So that's 120. Should have just held on to it. I don't know. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, went again. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm just not. Yeah. We get a big bounce. Candle wick. It's just too big. We're not doing it. Uh. Nope. I'm saying no. Though I shouldn't have. Uh, we did. That, see, that could have happened last time. So that's why you don't. That's why you, you just gotta be cho choosy. It's really hard to estimate statistics on the fly. Now, here we've got a MACD cross. Green crossing over red is a bullish signal. You can see that the last cross was here. Red over green did correspond with a giant move down, but it's hard to just go on that. Yeah. Big red down. Nope. Okay. Sometimes I say that because if it defies expectations, that can be kind of a good sign. I'm going off of what the cliche thing for it to do would be. Um, it's probably going up, but yeah, I don't know. There wasn't there wasn't enough to go on. 
Just look, wait for the ADX to look good. Hmm. That one's kind of debatable. I don't know, not really. MACD cross. Should be going down. I'm just not seeing the love with the ADX. There's a lot of stuff that happens. actually kind of have something here. See, I really wish it would have broken above the 200, though. One more. Uh. No. We get a big candle. Mmm, but the, the oscillator's just not looking good enough. wait for some good signals here. Nah, that's not... Mm. See, this had a big lower wick with large volume, which would normally suggest it's going up. The fact that it didn't go up, defying expectations, is a fairly bearish sign. But um man, that's super iffy. Um uh, oscillator's just not looking good. I don't care if I miss it. Just gonna wait for that ADX to look good again. Um, there's probably a couple things I should have gone for in this video. Let's see if this goes above the 200 moving average pretty, pretty soon. That's what that is. Waiting for that ADX to look really sweet. Probably should zoom in here. Come on, guys. Come on, folks. like the doldrums. Okay. We did break above a level. It's 
See, it's just... No. be really yeah we're just we're just in the box man should I take this what are we even doing we're really not not doing pretty good. Alright, let's go there. Yeah. It took forever, but we got there. Yep. Oh, man. Rough. Oh, man. Should should have went for it. Let it ride. Uh, we are getting below there. 333... Three. We get another bounce. Yeah, at least we got something there. This is something. This right here is something. This is the kind of thing we wait for. Probably. We're gonna we're gonna try for that. Still, we're still above the level. Let's go like there. All right, I'm getting out. That's uh, 103. It's probably about to just blow up. Okay, maybe not. This is not the best. This altcoin just ain't doing much. Like, there just has to be volatility in there. There isn't that much volatility here. What do we want to do one of these? Dang it, I should have. Yeah. If we get another red, I think we gotta go for this. Yeah. We're doing like that much. And one more. One more. All right. Six one. If we get another pretty dramatic one. There we go. Broke below a lot of stuff. 
Let's go for like that. Ah. So here's a great example. I bought in here. In real time, I would have watched it go to 2.32%. And then it would start backing off. Now what I'd really do, when that happens, and this is a very strong candle with no wicks, so that means we were solidly going down, probably not doing this. So, realistically, by the time it retraced halfway, I'd be selling. But will it go even less than that and say one? If we get another red, yeah, maybe I should have just held on to it. Mm, this is very trending. I'm going to go to at least there. All right, we're just getting out. And that is going to be the end of this trading session. Trading these altcoins is just brutal, man. Yeah, we lost 0.05% on that. So the, the win ratio is really good, though. We stuck to our guns on this one. Like, it didn't, didn't take trades. Let's see what's going to happen next. Oh, man, why is it doing this to me? Yeah, alright, we're done. So... 9, 19, 21. This isn't like... I'm really proud of this ratio, though, I gotta say. Like... Because the thing is, you can make up for... You can make up for a lack of opportunities through using more leverage in your trading. Leverage, of course, is when a site or something gives you more money to trade with. So you can magnify your trades. So actually accuracy is the most important thing in trading. And we really stuck to our guns. There's a lot of... God, that's going down again. Yep. See, I could have just... What I would have done is, like, it just bounced off that, so... I would have made some more off of that. Ugh. I'm going to call it 50%. I don't care. I know that I know that I would have done it. Oh, and yeah, it's even higher. All right. Uh, we're just going to be we're going to be on the straight and narrow. I know I would have gotten something out of that trade cuz Look at that. Like, of course. But we're going to try and be on the straight and narrow on here. Alright. So yeah, we stuck to our guns. We got a good win-loss ratio. 6.28 to 1 is massive. Okay. Very good. So this is 11 days. That's actually 11 and a half days. This per day is going to be pretty bad. Yeah. There was just a lot of really boring times, but the accuracy was amazing. So we're going to calculate how much we'd realistically make. Um, four, three. This is also a longer time frame. The longer the time frame, the less trades generally, but the larger. But I find generally, you can see, like on this 15 minute, the per day was very high. Um, these one hours, actually that was pretty good, but that's, yeah. This two hour, only five, eight. This was almost one. That was lower on the one hour time frame. So you generally make less on the longer time frames, but the trades are larger, which you can kind of see. So four, three, six, five, point six, five. I can generally trade for about half the day, so do that but I am currently using 3x leverage and I'm probably gonna use more in the future but we're starting small so six five four let's just say six five five 
starting with 10,000, 655, daily returning 10,000 in a year into 108,000, which is about you know, very close to multiplying your money 10 times in a year, which is generally thought of as unbelievable. But in crypto, that's actually pretty tepid. So anyway, but this win-loss ratio is fantastic, and I'm proud of that. So we'll see you guys on the charts. Have a good one.